everyone. My name is Joshu Fernandez, grade 6. And today I will be presenting a PPT on categories of computers. Computers are everywhere and without computers we can't survive. Do you know according to our usage and place we use different types of computers and what they are called? Categories of computers. Computers are categorized with respect to their speed, storage capacity, cost and size. They are micro, mini, mainframe and supercomputers. In this video, I will be giving a basic idea on microcomputers. Microcomputers These computers are small in size. These computers cost less money. These computers are commonly used in houses, schools, offices, etc. They are usually designed for personal use and hence are called PCs. These are the examples of microcomputers. They cost less money. They are in small size, as you can see, they are small. Mainframe computers, supercomputers, and even mini computers are little bigger compared to these computers and we use it in houses, schools because we can't use mainframe, super or mini computers in the houses, schools, offices. Hence we use micro computers. Types of computers. There are many different types of computers such as desktop computers, laptop computers, tablet computers, palm top computers, handheld devices which include mobile phones, game consoles, etc. So these are all the types of microcomputers. So first one, now let's learn about desktop computers. Desktop computers. These computers usually come with several parts such as CPU, mouse, etc. These parts are connected together and they work as a single unit. These computers will comfortably on a desk and cannot be moved from one place to another easily. That is, we cannot carry it around for work, etc. Hence, people use laptop computers. So here, as you can see, these are all examples of desktop computers. I am using a laptop computer right now. And over here, as you can see, this is a mouse and then this is the speaker, this is a keyboard. So it comes with a lot of parts. So it's a CPU. So it comes with a lot of parts. Here, also, as you can see, this is a laptop, this is a desktop, over here, mouse, keyboard. So it comes with a lot of parts and they are connected. So if I move my mouse, it, if I move like right side, it will move to the right side. If I move to the left side, it moves to the left side. And the speakers over here, if I on any video, the sound will come from the speakers. And here CPU, it gives like all instructions and all. So it works as a single unit. And since this is like so many parts and it is heavy, so we can carry it around. It is like if we want for only for one place, if we are in a house and we need for house, we use a desktop computers because laptop computers is for traveling. Desktop computers is used if you uh, stay on the place like for a very long time. And laptop computers if you like travel a lot and you need to carry your laptop because you need to do your work etc. So next let us learn about laptop computers. Laptop computers. These computers are small and can be placed on a laptop. These are costlier than desktop computers. Since they are light and small, they can be carried from one place to another and are commonly used by people who travel a lot. They are usually 13 to 15 in screen. They can be folded down when not in use. So here as you can see, these are all examples of laptop computers and this laptop over here is also a laptop computer. And over here, which is 5th 
platform they can be folded down and not used here like this i can fold it up or down and this does not come with uh, like a lot of bugs if you need a mouse like this you can buy a mouse this usually comes with only one piece which is a laptop and the mouse if you want you can buy it does not come in like cpu speakers etc and 13 to 15 inch screen so this is the screen which i am presenting this uh, this is the pt and then outside here is the screen and it is uh, 13 to 15 inch screen in most of the laptops and since as you can see over here this is light desktop computers when i talked about them they came with a lot of parts and since they are like coming with a lot of parts and all it is hard to carry them and they are also heavy but this is light like this we can easily lift it up and since uh, we can lift it up easily and we can fold it down and not get used it is commonly used by people who travel a lot let's learn tablet computers these computers are lighter and smaller than laptop computers they usually come in 7 inch or 8 inch or 10 inch screen instead of using the keyboard it uses touch sensitivity for typing etc it is usually used for reading ebooks watching movies playing games etc Here as you can see these are examples of tablet computers. Here this is like 10 inch in screen and this is 7 inch. So they vary in size. And we use it for reading and then we use it for playing here's the games, using it to music and lot of things. And it is usually bigger than a smartphone and it is smaller than a laptop. So smartphone is like this much and uh, a laptop is like, like this much as, as it's my laptop and but it is smaller than a laptop but bigger than a smartphone and instead of using like a keyboard which i'm using right now we use touch sensitivity like you can just write like this in the screen if you want so now let's learn palm top computers this computer was about the size of a large pocket calculator. It is used as a handheld device or what could be described as a small laptop computer. Palm top computers were based on DOS. Many of them could run programs designed for traditional PCs. Here as you can see these are examples of palm top computers. So it is also computer but palm top. It will fit in our palm, so we can do our work like this. So it's like a computer, but it is small. And as you can see, it's the size of a large pocket calculator. Calculator means like which we use for some like 3 into 2 or like that sums we use, and it is usually like this much. And they are telling me large pocket calculator, which means like this much of the large pocket, which you should fit in the pocket. It was like that. So we could do our work. Here's going to this keyboard. And also a touch sensitivity. Yeah, also uh, there's like a pen which comes. We can write over here if we also need the pen. And we can also use the keyboard which is over here. So palm top computers they fit in our palm. Now let's look handheld device. A handheld device is a pocket-sized computing device with a display screen and input or output interface like an external or touch screen keyboard. Examples are mobile phone, PDA, mobile PC, handheld game consoles and so on. So here I have some examples of handheld devices. As you can see this is like a game console, this is a game console and this mobile phones, this is also a game console and handheld device. This small device, which is also pocket size. So this is uh, this is also like a phone, but little bit bigger. So as you can see, this is also phone over here. So phones, so game consoles are examples of those. Even tablet computers are uh, the examples because they have they are also pocket size and they are small, and uh, we can carry it around. This is 
this is a uh, the uh, this is the tablet computer type right? and this is the mobile phone and this is this is the game console or this can be also called as the font of computers which we are which we are just talking right now so this is the examples of handheld devices hope you all got an overview on the categories of computers mobile phone is a computer which comes under the category of